In this video, I will demonstrate a few techniques on how to perform qualitative testing, as well as give a few tips on how to limit the amount of resources used in lab. Qualitative testing can tell you whether or not a specific substance is present or if a chemical reaction has occurred, whereas quantitative testing is more about determining how much of a substance is present. In a qualitative test, data is typically collected by using your senses, such as seeing a color change in a chemical reaction or smelling a specific odor. The key to a qualitative test is doing things in very small increments and using only small amounts of chemicals. Using small amounts of chemicals in a chemistry lab accomplishes three things. It reduces the risk of a chemical injury or spill in the lab. It reduces the amount of waste that is produced, which can have a positive impact on the environment. And it limits the amount of resources that are used, which reduces laboratory operating costs and ensures each student has enough chemicals and equipment to perform each experiment. When performing qualitative tests, it's important to use the correct equipment. You will not have to make any precise measurements, so don't use the balances, micropipettes, or graduated cylinders. When transferring small amounts of liquids, use a transfer pipette as these allow you to easily control how many drops are added at a time. And for solids, you should use a spatula. Using the small side of the spatula can help you limit the amount of solid that you use. You should also use smaller containers, like your one or two dram vials, smaller sized beakers, or a 20 milliliter plastic vial. In a qualitative test, only small amounts of chemicals are needed for a reaction to occur. Adding just a few drops of an acid or base can change the color of this solution. Likewise, adding a few drops of an alkaline solution to this glowing liquid can make it glow brighter. But adding too much of the alkaline solution will dim the glowing liquid. In this case, adding less of a chemical is better. So remember, to perform a qualitative test, it is important to make small, incremental changes using only small amounts of chemicals. Oftentimes, only a single drop of a liquid is needed to make a visible change. Good luck conducting qualitative tests of your own in the future, and have fun in lab!